Hey there guys, welcome back, hope we're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Double Cube, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning to create um, a, a uh, I don't know actually what to call it, but a, a 3D text, 3D text with, uh, you know, some negative, uh, with a negative space of a negative image. I really have no idea what to call this, I'm going to probably ask some people on it before, you know, I put up the title, but please do bear with me for that. Um, so, um, so as you can see on the screen, that's what I'm going to be creating. So let's just jump into Photoshop and get started right away. So here I am in Photoshop in a 1920 by 1080 p document. And I just have this nebula picture, which I just got from Google. Uh, it's a free image, of course. Um, so once we have this, I'm going to just go ahead and hide this for now and we can get started with our, you know, with our thing. So let's get, grab the text tool and I'm going to go ahead and click and type in the word, the, uh, the letter W. And I'm gonna press Ctrl T, and I'm gonna scale this up pretty high. And I want to choose a different font, maybe something which is pretty wide. So I have a lot of fonts, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go for uh, this uh, text called this Go Go Poster Punch, uh, which is a nice font. I'm gonna press Ctrl T and scale this down a little bit now in the center, and let's just uh, you know center this. So if you wanna center it, press Ctrl A on your keyboard to get the selection with the layer selected. You're gonna come here and click on these two buttons, which is align horizontal center, align or vertical center, and you know click on this. You make sure you're in the move tool. In doing that, press Ctrl D to deselect. Okay, so once we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Ctrl T on our keyboard, right click. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and rasterize it. So once you rasterize, you cannot change it. So we're gonna click on rasterize type, and now it's a single, you know, like a, it's an uneditable text. Press Ctrl T on my keyboard, right click and choose perspective. And I'm gonna click here on the center anchor point and just move this up like so a little bit, not too much. Uh, like so click on enter and now I'm gonna press ctrl J to make a copy uh, you know or you can go to edit and uh, copy and edit and paste and I'm gonna move this one uh, hold on shift and move this one to the right a couple of times so let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have something that looks like this now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just select and hold down control and click on the thumbnail which is gonna create a selection and press alt delete to add the foreground color press control D to deselect and the only reason I'm doing this is so that we can have uh, you know like just check out how it looks right we just want to see how it looks uh, we're gonna differentiate it both so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually let me just move a little bit more up I don't want this gap so hold down shift up twice right on, you know on left twice up once and left once yeah I think this is this is this is good enough and uh, let's zoom in now and we're gonna be pretty careful with this press P on my keyboard and we're gonna go ahead and start joining all these points so I'm gonna come over here click here right uh, make sure you have your pen tool selected click here and we're gonna click here on this one and uh, oh let's 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 delete that before we do anything stupid we want to go ahead and create a new layer on top of everything yeah let's actually keep this one below the w the the, the top one so we basically in between the other two layers and now on the second layer press p in my keyboard and i'm gonna go ahead and start you know joining all of this so select this one all right there we go now let's click over here okay so we're gonna click over here all right and uh we just so what i'm actually doing is i am creating a path to cover to make it look like a 3d text even though it isn't a 3d text and uh, click on this corner and uh, this corner right and uh, we're gonna come here uh, right uh, over here all right over here oops here right there we go awesome okay so, like, this one and uh, this one and uh, this one. Now, um, you probably might understand when I show you what I'm actually doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control Enter, and that's gonna create a selection. And with my shape tool selected, I'm gonna right click. Oh, sorry, another shape tool. You wanna set up the the uh, marquee tool. Right click and choose fill, uh, fill, fill. Okay, and let's fill this with a white color. Uh, white color, white color. Click on OK, and now we have something looks like this. I'll press Control D. Now you can actually see the 3D effect. Right now we kind of missed this part, so let me just quickly finish this off again. Press P on my keyboard, I'm gonna select uh, this one, this part, yeah, and then we can close this up. Control Enter, same process. 
uh, marquee tool, right click and choose fill, white color, click on enter, plus control D to D flag. And I have something that looks like this. Um, we kind of missed this part also. So let me just do that. Pretty stupid of me to miss that. All right. All right. Let's control enter, marquee tool, right click, fill, and go. And press control D. Now you can see this looks like a really like a really 3D text, right? That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna select the bottom two layers, so, and right click and choose merge layers. So now all this 3D, all this 3D thing is one single layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unlock this one, the, the nebula picture that we have, and I'm gonna place it on top of the, uh, you know, let's just name this, we're gonna call this white, and we're gonna call this, uh, sorry, front, Oh my god, F R O N T. Oh my god, what's wrong with my keyboard? All right, and this one is going to be back. Let's make this back instead of white. And now I'm going to click on this layer, right click, choose create clipping mask. And now we see we have this only on this part of the text, which is pretty cool. Now I can go ahead and shrink this entire thing to get a lot more detail and you know, like a definition. Okay, now what actually gives out the effect is the color of the background merging with this the, the front part. So if we double click on the uh, background to make it editable, double click on this, let's go and choose a color overlay, color overlay, and uh, let's choose the same color and click on OK. And we see we have something like this, but we see we see have this these edges which we do not want. So let's just get rid of that. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the back and choose color overlay. Oops, sorry, uh, my bad. We're gonna choose double click on the front, the front, 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 uh, color overlay. And now let's choose the same color, click on okay. And now we get rid of those lines. And now we see, this is this is the effect that I was actually talking about. Looks really cool, looks really nice. Um, now another thing we can do is, let's actually go and change the colors of these two. So let's go and choose a like a, like a nice blue color. Make sure you don't have any gradient on this because then it's gonna it's not gonna give the effect so like so click on okay let's double click on oops not that one let's double click on the background uh go to the color overlay we're gonna color pick the same color click on okay and you have something that looks like this pretty cool pretty dope uh, another thing you can do is you can give it a little bit of shadow so you know to actually see that there's an actual letter standing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the rectangle tool uh shape tool rather and uh, there's a shape tool, the rectangle tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a box, you know, like so. And uh, you can fill this up with any other color you want. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this. So press Ctrl T and let's rotate this. Or actually, rather than rotating, let's just place it up over here. Let's shrink this up a little bit. Okay, and you can right click and choose perspective. And let's just get rid of this thing. Let's perspectively. Uh, you know, like do that, click on enter, yes. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, move this up over like so. Yeah, we wanna move this, we wanna keep this at the be behind everything. There we go. Uh, Control T again, right click and choose perspective. This time I wanna move this one. There you go. And uh, you're gonna have to spend some time with this. Uh, press Control T, we can shrink this down. There we go, we can shrink this up. Let's zoom a little bit more and uh, so that we can actually see what's happening. Press Ctrl T. There we go, that's looking much better. Uh, okay, and uh, let's make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Uh, sorry, Control J, my bad. And uh, we're gonna move this one over to this side and make sure it, you know, properly aligns with this one. Let's zoom in. We're gonna have to manually edit this one for this one. So let's just eyeball it and do it neatly. All right. Uh, okay. We can press Control T. We're gonna shrink this one down. Bring this one up and move this over inside like so. Now this is gonna take a while. Right click, let's choose perspective. Now this is looking much better. And click on OK. And uh, we have something that looks like this. Um, 
And if you want, we can actually go ahead and erase this part if you don't want, that's up to you anyways. Uh, but uh, it doesn't actually matter because what we're gonna be doing is you know, sell the effect anyway. So what I'm gonna do now, with this layer selected, I'm gonna go control, hold down control and click on this, which is gonna create a selection. And I'll come here to the gradient tool and click on the gradient editor. I'm gonna choose a dark, super dark blue to a white to a transparent thing. So we can actually click on a preset over, preset over here, uh, which is a foreground to transparent. And uh, we can choose the foreground color to be, uh, let's see, uh, the dark blue color, like so. Click on OK. Click on OK. And if I go ahead, so you want to rasterize this first. So right click and choose rasterize. And before we add the gradient, we can actually do is we can select the last one and we can choose the same color as the background color. Click on OK. And uh, we're going to set the uh, opacity of this to 100% and now let's go and drag and let's see what we have we have something that looks like this press ctrl d and uh, it should technically fade away but if it does not what we can do is let's do it once more there we go we don't have to drag it out to the end a little bit like we can even drag it from far away somewhere over here all right press ctrl d there you go we already have this cool effect let's do the same thing over here uh, right click and choose uh, oops right click and choose a rasterize layer hold on control click on the thumbnail and uh, Don't go over to the end press ctrl D and we have something that looks like this which is pretty you know Oops pretty good enough. Let's zoom back. Let's see we having a small issue over here But uh, that's that's okay. It's not gonna be a problem or another thing you can do is add in a gradient overlay, which is what I just did. So I just took, took two colors and you know put them on, and um, you can click on this and we can move the stops or like so. All right? Whoops, we don't want this one. All right, something like this, which is bound to give the same effect. And uh, press Ctrl D to the select everything, and there we go. We, ha we have ourselves this kind of a text. I have no idea what to call it. I'll probably ask a couple of people. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to mention it in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or requests, you can always ask me on Twitter, Instagram, or send me an email. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.